so the next video I was going to make was to discuss um, add-on hookups which are the things that you would place in these little red slots whether it's uh, sidebars um, you know sidebars, bull bars, light bars um, all the kind of things that you would put in these little red nodes. Uh, you'll sometimes find that these are um, greyed out, they're not red, which means that there is nothing available to be putting in these slots. Uh, and by modifying the add-on hookups of um, the mod that you would like to use, um, you can make them work in these positions. So at the moment, this is Schemo's longline truck. And he has his own markers uh, that work. And it is only these markers that, that work in this um, position. So I, I sometimes use um, the Borman uh, LED marker lights. And what I'm going to do in this video is go into the add-on hookups uh, for that mod and add this position in. So this position is called, quite simply, AC for um, the air conditioning. I'll double check that using the dev console. Uh, It doesn't work for the hookup, obviously, but in there, shape three scania dot s underscore long ac just ac. So I will now go into. I'll come out of the game, and I will go into the Borman LED marker mod, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've come out of the game, and this is my ETS2 mod folder um, and we have the Borman LED markers. Go into this mod and you then want to go into the def folder. Inside def there is vehicle and then we have add-on hookups. Inside there there is a list uh, of five of these SII files. It might be one. It depends on how many different parts there are to the the mod. We'll go into the first one. Open this with uh, Notepad++. Uh, that's a bit too big. So the first line in this hookup is for white Borman marker. The price, the icon, and then the model relates to the actual physical model. And then you'll see below here there is a whole load of suitable for lines. Suitable for air cleaner, air hose, back LED, back lights. So these are the names of all the different positions that these lights will work in. And it has to be correct to uh, to the letter. It has to be perfect. Um, generally, I just add whatever changes I make on the end. So to make life easy, I will copy Control C onto a new line, Control V to paste, and from the game. Uh, we know it is just AC, so we will put in suitable for AC. That then tells that light mod that that will it is suitable for it will work in that slot. But that's just the white one, so you'll need to then go through. You want to copy this, the line you've just done, 
and then we have yellow. So again, down to the next line. It is quite tedious. You can go through all of these and you get the idea. Red Borman marker. And we will go down to the bottom there and tidy that up. Down and paste. I'm not going to go through all of these just now, um, but I'd like to think you get the idea, you know, that red, yellow, white, um, and we're just adding in the name of the position into these suitable four lines. So I will save that. Um, and then if you're working inside of a zip file, it will ask you if you want it updated. You update that. You know it's updated because it's now created a backup file. And now we will go back into the game and see if that has worked. Back in the game, it's important to remember that you have the correct uh, version. Uh, so it was the Borman LED, and that was the that's the name of the file that I edited. You'll also notice that these two, one has a Steam Workshop icon there. So that's the Steam Workshop version. And this is uh, my own version that I have downloaded from the folder um, from Steam Workshop and then made my own changes too. That's already active. Um, so that should work as it is. We'll go back in and check that that has worked. So we load up the aircon. It could be either of these. I think both have slots. Yeah, they do. Uh, and then there we have it red, white, and yellow Borman markers. Uh, and this process you can use for any other slot position, um, as I explained earlier, whether that's um, air bar, you've got slots there, you could uh, add stuff into. I've already done Bad Karma Customs uh, tail lights for, um, for that. So hope that's of some help, uh, some use to folk. Um, what else? Anything else? Yeah, things like, I mean, there's Cab Bar. That's quite a unique part name. Cab underscore bar. So you'd have the door bar painted and there are slots there. And again, just Schemo's uh, own parts on that list. You could go back into the, the Borman marker mod um, and add in suitable four lines for cab bar. Um, again, if there's any issues or anything that you're struggling with um, hit me up and i will try and help explain further um, have fun